tired of buying expensive compact flash cards and wish that you could use SD cards as removable storage on your Omega 600 or 1200? Well, I have just a solution for you. What's going on guys, Todd here. If you've watched any of my previous Mega videos, you'll know my general dislike for compact flash media. They've gotten expensive and difficult to find. Plus sometimes compatibility with our Amiga computers is spotty at best. Some cards work on the IDE controller, whilst the same card will not work in a PCMCI adapter. Basically it comes down to trial and error. I recently picked up this Digigear Slim SD to Compact Flash Adapter and thought I'd share it with you. When you buy the Digigear there are two versions, a Type 1 and a Type 2. Make sure to buy the Type 1 style as the Type 2 are thicker and won't work with the PCMCIA adapters. Usage is simple, pop your SD card into the Compact Flash adapter and then insert that into your Compact Flash to PCMCI adapter. I'm going to go into the rest of this video assuming that you're familiar with what is necessary to make Compact Flash to PCMCIA adapters work on your Amiga. Ok, on to some benchmarks. I tested the adapter both on the PCMCIA slot and on my Amiga 600 internal IDE bus using an IDE to Compact Flash adapter. Let's start with the PCMCIE slot. It's interesting to see the slight performance increase that using the SD to Compact Flash editor has over the Compact Flash card. I tested this multiple times and each time the result was the same. Let's move on to IDE. Once again we see the SD to Compact Flash editor beating out the all Compact Flash storage solution. I also included an IDE to SD adapter which fell right into the middle benchmark wise. I've been using these same IDE to SD adapters for some time with almost all of my Amigas. However, I'm going to switch over to IDE to Compact Flash adapters and then use these Digigear adapters as the performance seems better across the board. Now these tests were performed with the cards being used in the PCMCIA slot being formatted FAT32 and the cards tested on the internal IDE or FAST file system. The Compact Flash cards were high quality SAN disk and the SD cards were just cheap class 10 cards from a local Micro Center. So depending on what cards you use and file system, your results may vary. Also I use SysInfo 3.24 to do the disk benchmarks. I tried using SysSpeed, however it would not launch on my Amiga 600. This could be some compatibility issue with the Vampire 2 Accelerator, but I'm not sure yet. If you already have a whole bunch of compact flash cards and happy with using them, then obviously the adapters probably have no use to you. However, for the rest of us who are tired of keeping extra media around just for the purpose of transferring files to the Amiga, then this SD to compact flash editor may just be the ticket for you. That's it for this one folks. If you enjoyed my videos, please consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up, and feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you're on social media and you can share my content, that would help me immensely. And speaking of social media, you can find me on Twitter at Todd's Nerd Cave. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.